the obviously the, the, the first um, thing that will help them about the book is the this thrust to communication, which I think is the the main um, element and focus of both these books, because um, students are used to. Uh, a lot of them are used to reading, they have to devour huge amounts of text and they can memorise them, but activating them is the difficulty. So um, it's approaching something like this with a view to taking what they already know and using what is in the book, the, the vocabulary, the grammar, the um, signs and symptoms, it's my job, the writing, as a springboard all the way through both both levels to take them into um, another sphere, i.e. The, the communicative aspect. So all of the, the elements are kind of backup or support for the communication. And students are quite often, they might be down here at a low level as regards um, uh, communication, but a high level as regards knowledge and um, uh, uh, even vocabulary. But the, act, the active vocabulary and the active skills are very low. So this aims to take them very gradually, build up confidence at each turn, so that they're even activating very, very simple communication skills, just even doing pair work. And as part of this, it's worth bearing in mind that a lot of language within the medical sphere is what I would call declarative where everything is, um, is said, is, is, it's um, in statements, and where things are learnt by heart. Um, but a lot of interaction between um, patients and doctor, patients and nurse, patients and doctor, is inquisitive language, which um, requires the ability to break up what they know. So having little discrete parts that um, that focus on small things that then are at a micro level, then they build up to a slightly stronger micro, that build up to a macro level, go all the way through both books and, to, and towards the, uh, in the second book, this is then up at the more uh, macro level of the very specific strong skills. So this constant building from the bottom upwards and um, this is again to do with the nature of uh, language. Do you take a, a top-down approach or a bottom-up approach? This, the thrusts of the, the, both these books, it's top-down um, for the macro level, but with a bottom-up approach for the discrete elements that allow students to make this jump into the, the higher um, top-down um, element of, of learning. Um, for uh, it's my job for the student and for the teacher they can they can see that it's an example of how um, a radiologist or a nurse or a doctor um, um, works in um, in in say the UK some of the cases are not just the UK they're in in the states or elsewhere um, and it shows how the specific jobs are done from particular angles. It's not just a, a straightforward description. It might be like a small day in the life of, or a day in, you know, um, a year in the life of, or how they came to uh, work in this particular area, why they chose this area. So it's looking at um, the, um, the job situation um, from a, a personal point of view and hopefully then students can then relate to this to them th themselves and also teachers will be able to see well yes um, my students w chose their field because of this and it's, it's a kind of springboard for discussion because it's it can be related to the individual student it's not just a um, an abstract entity or reading exercise it's a, a, a description that can be easily related to by um, you know all people. They can react to it negatively or positively. It's not going to be something that will be ignored. And I think to relate this to nursing 
the nursing books, this then is, um, can be added on to the nursing books because um, here not only uh, is the um, uh, communication um, incremental, the medical input is incremental, which then can sit on top of um, nursing one and nursing two, and really then th this can fit in with the, the other two the other two books in this series.